What's up guys, it's Soapster here and welcome back to another Gold Guy video. Today's video we're going to be going over how to get the AS44 Gold. This gun was a lot of fun to use on Das House. Um, I, I basically made all the challenges on the Das House 24-7 playlist. The gun handles a lot like an SMG actually, has a high fire rate and good movement stats. So yeah, it was quite fun to use there. I got it done pretty quickly, except for the long shots. That was the hardest challenge with this actually, because it's not very good at range. But other than that, I breezed through all these kind of challenges. One thing to mention with this gun is use Beatrice. Uh, I'm not sure what the unlock challenge is for her. I had her unlocked pretty easily, so it must be an easy challenge. But her favorite weapon is the S44, so you'll get the gun leveled up quicker. You'll get more XP overall, more operator XP. So yeah, it'll, it's just a good idea to use it if you have it unlocked. To start with, this is the class that I think is the best for this gun. And the precision barrel allows two shot kill, which is pretty sick, but it still has pretty good movement um, with low recoil. This gun absolutely beams at close to medium range. For perks, I mostly just use Ghost Forward Intel and Lightweight. But let's get right into the first camo challenge, which is pack tactics. That one's 100 eliminations. I'm not sure why it's 100 and not 400 like the other assault rifles, but anyway, either way, you'll get it done pretty quickly without trying. So don't worry about this. The next one is surgical, which is 100 headshots. Again, you're going to be flying through this without trying. Don't worry about it. Moving on to the next one, which is predatory ambition. Another one which will fly through, which is 50 multi kills. Especially on Das House, you'll probably get it done in one game to be honest, if not two. You'll get so many multi kills without thinking about it. Reptilian is the next one, which is 30 bloodthirsties. Again, playing on Das House, you get all these challenges done so quickly, I wouldn't worry about it at all. Moving on to the next one, which is Deadeye, which is get 100 long range kills. Now, this one was actually the one I found the hardest out of all of them. This gun's not really good at long range. Um, I tried to do it with full auto barrels and I got some but it was so inaccurate I found especially because this gun has quite a bit of horizontal recoil which is hard to control so I tried the Cover Left Skyer 420mm burst barrel and although this barrel isn't very good it did help me to get the long shots done because it's a lot more accurate so if you have this unlocked by then I'm not sure when you unlock it but I would recommend trying to use this barrel if you're struggling with any of the automatic barrels other than that, I did all the long shots on Dome and Das House using the uh, Trifecta playlist, I think it's called, Trifecta Mosh Bit. So yeah, again on Dome, you just sit up on the balconies, you can get loads of long shots looking across the other balcony. And then on Das House, the middle lane is a long shot and the right lane from the C flag and the left lane from the A flag is also a, a long shot spot. Moving on to the next one is this Berserker, which requires 100 close range kills. Now when I did this, this was point blanks. I believe they changed this in the update um, yesterday or the day before. So it makes it slightly easier, but the principle is still the same. The class I used is the SMLE pistol grip, Empress 400mm, the Pintar grip once I unlocked it, and then the remove stock, which makes the hip fire incredible on this gun. And you combine it with proficiency gung ho. You can literally full sprint while hip firing, it is insane. It was, it was a lot of fun to use actually and yeah i got so many point blanks doing this i think i did it in like three games i just threw smokes down in das house and yeah you, you can get it done so quickly with this class one thing to note as well is you don't have to worry about getting these all done because another challenge later on requires hit park kills so you can kind of combine them if you haven't finished it by then but you probably would have because they're so easy wildcat is the next one which is just 250 eliminations with 10 attachments equipped this one's pretty easy so don't worry about this next one is survivalist which is 100 hit fire kills with the empress 400 mm barrel the 30 russian short 60 round mags and the steady proficiency now, this is what i was talking about earlier with the point blanks so you don't have to worry about them too much because this challenge comes up i'd use the exact same class that i used for the point blanks except for so you have to change the proficiency which is a shame because if this was a gun ho it'd be a lot more fun but because it's steady you know you just have to play you have to slide around a bit more you can't full sprint obviously because you haven't got the gun ho on but still the hip fire is so good on this gun it's very accurate so you'll get loads done you can almost like cross map people hip fire is that good moving on to mind games which is 100 ads kills with this zach 650 mm precision barrel 
the 7.62 times 54 MMR 30 round mags and the Zac 12A stock equipped. This one will come quite naturally. You just throw the attachments on and ADS like you would normally, and you get the challenge done pretty quickly. And the last one is Death Artist, which is 100 kills while crouched or prone with the Empress Falchion A barrel, the Kovalev Skya custom stock, and disable proficiency. Again, this one's quite a simple one. Throw the attachments on. And the way I did it was just sliding around, and that counts for crouching, basically. You can just crouch around or lay prone in different areas, but I like to play aggressive. You get the challenge done quicker, I think, so yeah, I'd recommend just sliding around and you'll get the challenge print done pretty quickly but that is it for the as44 i found overall quite an easy gun because of how good it is up close and the challenges are quite easy to do in dash house except for long shots i think the long shots took the longest as long as doing all the other challenges put together probably because the other ones are so easy you'll be able to get the done gun done pretty quickly one of the easier assault rifles i've done so far but that is it for this video if you've liked it please leave a like and subscribe so you know when i release the next gold guide and if you didn't like it leave a dislike and leave a comment and tell me what i can improve and what you didn't like about the video but anyway for now i'm out